Hey, you pull so money we have. <clears throat> so you've been carving on your spoon for a little while. You're gonna notice that the lines, the design that you've created are starting to disappear. Now this is where you're gonna to wanna to start thinking, um, keeping that, that design of the spoon in your head. Um, what it's gonna look like. You wanna envision it um, to where it's gonna be. So I'm gonna do this real quick for you guys. My, my initial envision uh, or my initial design of what this spoon looked like the this part is right here so I'm I'm cutting down here little by little to get that design back um, it's gonna come up like that all right and the rest of it you can kind of see still so there's that design but now this design is disappearing because I'm starting to come down here to get this part right here, taking away all of that wood. So do yourselves a favor, maybe every, every little while, just kind of retrace how you want that spoon to look like. It's gonna help, it's gonna help you keep that, that design in your head. So you're gonna see all of the wood that you have yet to remove, all right? Uh, it's just a, it's all going to be gone. It's all going to be cut away. But I just want you guys to remember that as you are working on your um, spoons. Now, you might be wondering what this is for. Now, this is going to be your sharpening. So you're going to want to take this out. This is your rouge. Not like the rouge for old makeup, but the rouge that we're gonna be using to help hone our blades. All right, so now this has a, a smooth side and a rough side, okay? So now you're going to take this on the smooth side and put a little bit of rouge on there, just like that, just enough. And then, let me bring this to the edge of the table here. What you wanna do is bring your knife along that rouge, okay? Bring it along there. That's gonna keep a nice, sharp end for you. Every time you guys are working on your um, carving, you wanna start with a sharp, good sharpening or a good uh, rouging, honing of your blade. It's not really, you're not taking any metal off. What you're doing is just putting that, that real sharp edge on there again, all right? It's important that you do this for your blades all the time, okay? Every time you're working, the sharper your tool, the much easier it is to carve with, all right? Anytime that um, that I think of ideas for you guys, I'm gonna make quick little videos like this to uh, keep you guys going on your um, spoon carving, your spoon whittling. So, happy carving, keep working. Uh, do a little bit uh, at a time. Don't uh, spend hours and hours and hours doing this. Um, I mean, you can if you want to, but don't feel like you have to, okay? Spend a little bit of time, carve for a little while, put your blades away when you're finished. Make sure you put your little uh, your little cap on the end just so you don't poke anything. And just take care of your, your um, blade set. Um, these are, you know, they're, they're nice blades. They're gonna serve you well for a long time. And uh, yeah, happy carving. Nahal, my wanan.